I'll read a poem called In Praise of the Basset Hound and say a few words about the poem first. A creature I initially found smelly and disagreeable taught me a great deal about affection, endurance, and loyalty. I wrote this poem to remember a dog who fell into my life for a year and the year I fell in love with the dog. A question to think about. Can you recall a time when your first impressions differed wildly from the feelings you eventually had for a person or an animal? In praise of the Basset Hound. This unlovely dog with warts and a terrible stink common to the breed, legless as a walrus, teaches me to pursue my life with devotion. Steadfast enthusiast of Fisher Cat and Vole, she relies now almost entirely on scent and sings her hound's song of pleasure when we come close enough for her to hear her name. In snow above her shoulder, she tracks our skis when all we can see is her metronome tail tipped in black, sweeping the horizon a mile back. We keep her incontinent in an old shed behind the farmhouse, a wire fence around her run. Warm days, nose in the air, she sits like an old retiree in the sun, listening to warblers build their spring nests. Her warts ooze, her eyes rain green phlegm. Still, I kiss her and hold her against my breast, she who whelped 12 litters before someone took pity and bought her from the breeder. Never permitted to lick hand or face, she will not disgrace her training and extend her tongue in play, though I offer my cheek. Daily, she shows me the meaning of character, loping painfully on swollen paws. I apply salve to her scaly folds, I croon over her. Who among us has not been moved by the magnificence of mute creatures in their abundant dying skin.